Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to Raven675 for gaming and welcome to my how to install you uh sorry Unity 4 uh in wine on Ubuntu 13.04. That's a really long title, but this should work for pretty much any you know naturally pretty much any uh Linux OS, but um I'm using Ubuntu 13.4. So uh one of the first things is if you the step we're about to do right now, um you don't have to do if you're on 32-bit. Like if your OS obviously is 32-bit, Wine's going to install only the 32-bit version. But most of us probably are running 64-bit. So you, it, Unity will not work on a 64-bit Wine. Uh, in fact, I normally create prefixes that you know are normally uh, either 32-bit or 64-bit, you know, depending on the program. But pretty much I always set them to 32-bit. It's less buggy. It works better, and you know, sometimes stuff does just work 32-bit or 64-bit, doesn't really matter. But Unity will not work, period, on the 64-bit. So, we need to open up a terminal. I already have one open. Um, if you don't know how the Wine, you know, if you don't know how to do stuff with Wine, um, I'm not going to show you guys how to make a new prefix, uh, but, actually, not screw it, I will. Alright, so, Wine, and then prefix, and then you name it, and we're not going to do that bit. And we'll just take it back, and then... So this is the step we have to do. So after you've created your wine prefix, then you put export wine arc equals win32, and then it'll be 32-bit. Okay? So that bit is pretty simple, and I've already done it. And now what you want to do is um, run like wine config or anything so it configures the wine uh, prefix. And then install... Unity 3D. Oh, actually not. We are going to... Oh, there we, there we go. Awesome. Um, and once you've installed... Uh, whoops, sorry. Uh, sorry. Once you've installed um, Unity 3D, uh, proceed with the next step. I'm sorry we're not going to go through this like completely, but it just takes so long to install Unity that I just cannot sit around and wait for that. Okay, so uh, select the default one prefix. Install a font... Now, I only installed the core fonts and the Tahoma fonts, and everything seems to work pretty good, as you can see in the other video. So, it should be fine. Okay? Um, and then, install Windows DLL or Component. I have installed nothing. Really, you don't need anything. Okay? Now, I did try some other stuff earlier, so I have a lot of stuff cached. But Now, the next thing we need to do is change settings. Da, 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 da. You need to make sure you check force mono and then in a force using mono instead of .NET. And it's already been selected for me. I could do it again and it would revert it. But I don't want to do that. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to run regedit. And we need to hit OK. And you can leave pretty much everything else default. I mean, it, it literally isn't all that difficult to get it to work. The hard part is getting past the, uh, the authentication service. So, you need to go to HKEY Local Machine, Software. Microsoft, Windows NT, select current version, and right here you see you have a product ID. So right click, new, string value, and then just put in product ID. And I'm going to get rid of that actually. I don't want that in there. And there you go. So now we have product ID, and then you just close out of it, and we can close out of that, and we'll close out of that, and then you should be able to do this right here. be funny if it didn't work. Ah, there we go. Awesome. So, here we go. We have Unity, and it works. And there you go. And it actually works really well. You can pretty much do everything you can do in a normal installation. Uh, like I showed in the other video, there are some weird issues. I'm sure if you installed Mono or .NET, you could get Mono developed to launch. Uh, that is kind of problematic. Um, oops. Sorry, it, 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 it doesn't like being closed out that way. There we go. Okay, so, um, yeah, like I was saying, if you install Mono, which is also... Actually, I'll show you guys. I'm sure you, I'm sure most of you guys are familiar enough to where you actually know how to do it, but I'm going to show you guys anyway. Select the default one prefix. Install the Windows component or DLL. I'm not too bothered because I don't like using that thing anyway. I'd rather never touch it. Uh, it crashes all the time for me on Windows. Uh, and then we scroll down mono to 1.0, which is 2.10. And then that should allow you to actually launch 
uh, modern develop when you double click it but I just navigate to the folder uh, now some other issues uh, that I did not I covered in the, the other video if you watched all the way um, so we're gonna open up home documents projects uh, when you first launch it and I'm sure you guys are already getting frustrated so hopefully you guys rather than just close it out of the video you're still listening rather than you know trying to get it going you probably noticed you can't create a project because you can't you need another project now I don't have any I can give you guys so hopefully you installed the angry bots and you can just launch angry bots and you can wipe everything out of it you know except for the bare basics of what comes with it you can just nuke the whole project or you can do uh, what I did I pulled up an old one but what I'm actually gonna do is next time I reboot into Windows I'm gonna create a blank project with absolutely nothing in it and a blank name and then I'm going to copy that here. And I'm just going to duplicate it every single time I want to do something with it. Okay. And everything works like I said in the other video. So like this is a, something I made. See? Everything works. And this is at fantastic quality settings with SSAO uh, 4096 shadow map. Though it doesn't really look too great. You kind of have to tweak it a little bit. Uh, and it should have FXAA. But, you know, some stuff may be hit or miss. But it's a natural native Linux build. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I uh, hope you guys like this. Don't forget to subscribe and like because Unity tutorials are incoming. And, and there's more. There's more. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter. Uh, join the Steam group. And also don't forget to follow me on Twitch.tv. And I hope you guys enjoy this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.